So Saturday the 26th of June, it's a beautiful day today. Weather's good, we got a little bit of rain yesterday, not very much. We've been very, very dry and hot here. It's been a good long while since I've mowed the lawn. I bet you it's been about eight days or something since I mowed the lawn. I did use the PGR application, so that has helped quite a bit. I didn't mow the lawn because I had a surgery and the doctor told me to uh, take it a little bit easy, so I just didn't wanna go for it. I did clean up. The tree here, I think in the last video or something, I showed that I had the tree here. Got it mostly all cleaned up into the dumpster trailer, then I hauled it away. I did spring a leak over here, and I had to do a patch job right down there. So that's, that's patched and ready to go. This is a sprinkler system zone that runs here and then behind me. Collecting the clippings, because I don't want the clippings on the lawn, and two, I want to pick up all this junk that's here, so. Anyway, all these people coming by. All these cars. People, cars coming by, it's crazy. So we're getting ready for the 4th of July, the 3rd of July. The festivities for the 3rd of July will be next week. Hopefully I can get my lawn in tip top shape, looking nice. So I'm just mowing this sucker and it's creating lots of clippings because it's quite tall. Probably mowing a good inch off. Got the height of cut set to 0.55, which I love. It's a great height of cut. So I wanna make sure to display my birds because they all matter and I'm grateful to have these birds. This is gonna have to have a double cut. I'm rolling it over because I've waited so long to mow it. I'm mowing it and it's just kind of rolling over the grass. It's not cutting all of it. So if I come back on the same exact stripe in the opposite direction, gives me a nice good cut so I don't have time to go back and forth back and forth like that on the same direct on the same stripe so I'm gonna just do a double cut here is a prime example of the lawn being tall and the grass getting folded over so see this I've just been over this section right here you can see all these long pieces right here it's so tall that it's just it's folding them over and only cutting off of maybe three quarters of the uh, blades of grass here it Just folds them over see some of these blades of grass that are all folded over and then if I fluff it up like this so You can see all the hairs that it didn't end up cutting off right there It's just weird so you can clearly see right here that I'm gonna have to do a double cut in order to get all everything all cut But we want a nice even smooth cut check out how also how thick this is. Okay. See this It's so incredibly dense and thick you can't even see uh, the soil. 
I mean, if you really dig at it, you can see it, but you, if you pull it like this, you cannot see the soil. If you cut your lawn short and tight like this, it tends to just get really, really thick and dense, which is really nice. It feels like carpet. It's a, such an awesome feeling. fellers I finished the mow on this direction gonna go at it at a 90 degree angle because it needs a double cut desperately bad when you don't mow the lawn for eight days it gets really long and out of hand that's not not advisable when you've got uh, low cut turf cutting this lawn at 0.55 so it's pretty low feels good and it looks great really happy with it. Dumping my clippings in that big blue bin over there. That's a 30 yard dumpster. It just happened to be in the, my backyard. So I decided to bring it around. Trying to dispose of that many clippings all at once can be a pain. I can still see some of my stripes that I came through here with the, the riding mower right here and here, like a week or so ago, but. So I'm gonna finish this mow off and then we will see if there's more time to maybe do some mowing in the back, probably not getting late early finished mowing the front and the side that is a lot of work it takes a long time to do a double cut when you've got that much square footage and you're using the walk behind i like the walk behind better than the riding mower because it gives a cleaner look just giving another update on the the grow in over here look at that so got great germination here a uh, little bit spotty through there maybe need some reseeding and then over here, it looks like it worked out great. You can see lots of weeds here, okay? Weeds are nothing to worry about. Those are easy to kill later. Don't worry about the weeds. We can manage those. Grassy weeds like this one here, those are not good. Um, these ones here, not good. But all in all, it's probably been about three or four weeks since I put the seed down and I've mowed this several times. And I would have mowed it today, but just didn't get to it, ran out of time. Look at that right here. See that? That's so much better than it was before. Those spots that were pretty much all bare have pretty well filled in. This section here is gonna need some top dressing sand. I do plan to do that in August. Growing grass, it's kind of bumpy and it's not really all that smooth. This section over here filled in nicely. Lots of uh, bare areas through here that have filled in. Still have quite a few bare spots through here, but those will, those will fill in with the bluegrass with nitrogen. Give it fertilizer, water, and it'll fill in. This is impressive to me. That was totally bare right there, and it's pretty well filled in, good to go. This section right here, that's a pisser. The tree did that, and it's, it's a big old hole right here. Probably about an inch deep um, groove or a divot there. How that happened is the tree, I was pushing the tree down with the track hoe and pushing it forward. I was pushing the tree down and forward trying to get the root ball to come up out of the ground. Some sand and top dressing will fix that. This is pretty bad here. This got really compacted. This is probably down two inches or more. Uh, right here, right here. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna try to fix that. I probably will get it really wet really really wet and try to lift it with the pitchfork like with a divot tool okay that's what i'm going to try to do the top dressing will definitely help sand so here's the aftermath of the tree taking it out i am happy that it's gone my irrigation got a little bit jacked up i did have a little hose spigot right here and the fitting broke kind of like what i had over there and so i fixed that up and took the fitting out and took out the the hose spigot so I'm probably gonna turn this into lawn and then I wanna plant a tree right here and then another tree right here. I still want trees here, I just didn't like those trees, okay? Those ones are junk. It was really hard to tear those trees out and the ones behind the camera over there. It was hard to do that because those trees do provide shade. They do provide privacy from the neighbor. I'm gonna miss those trees, but I'm not gonna miss them at the same because those were junk trash trees. I hated those trees so much. They're so terrible. The kids over there doing the lemon stand, stand, they set up shop over there and then they make about 50 bucks. This spot here, I'm not exactly sure what happened. I did put some of the tree killer. It's called Total Vegetation Control. You can get it on Do My Own. That's what I use to kill the tree. 
you, you use a hatchet and hatchet the tree and then you squirt some of that stuff in there or you put it on the bark and it kills the tree. So I had a little bit of a root growing up and the tree coming up from here. So I used a hatchet to create a wound in the root there and I sprayed that stuff in there, the juice. And then I think it killed all this grass right here. I don't, I don't know what happened, but this section right here, it just kind of killed or stunted the growth on this grass right here. I'm not sure exactly why or what, because I didn't get any of the juice on the grass. I just put it right in this spot right here. If you use that total vegetation control, it's a sterilizer. So it's not, it's not the kind of stuff that you want to use unless you want, unless you want to replace your soil there. Look at these guys here. See that? They're just having so much fun. Older couple just having the time of their lives out on one of those side by sides. Those are fun, but I prefer to be on a dirt bike or a four wheeler. My dahlias are looking good. I don't have a lot of blooms quite yet. I only have this one bloom right there so far. That's tutti frutti, but I've got a lot more coming. There's tons of blooms on this plant. They're just about to sprout. There's one that's just about to go. Uh, this one's Cornell right there. That one's just about to go. Can't go wrong with a nice set of flamingos. So that's gonna pretty well do it for this video, but tomorrow wanting to create the video for the giveaway. We've got lots of cool prizes coming for the mullet contest giveaway. I killed Ryan Knorr. It was no joke and no competition at all. And I, I give him props for trying, but his, his heart's not in it. We've got good prizes coming, coming your way here. So Ryan Knorr is giving away a lot of good stuff actually. And so I'm just gonna kind of ramble off some of the things that he's gonna give away. He's gonna give away a box of Simple Lawn Solutions, the gallons, uh, Simple Lawn Gallon box, Simple Lawn Essentials box. It's got one box of Lawn Supply Company uh, equalizer and one bottle of Green ORR bundle. He says he's giving away a pair of Cujo shoes. Uh, he's gonna give away one of those lawn turf rakes, those leveling things. And then he's also gonna give away two turf merchant hats, which is pretty cool. That's it for this video, guys. I appreciate you, thanks for watching. Hope you guys learned something. Didn't give a whole lot of tips and tricks on this video, but I just kinda wanted to show you what I've got going on in here in the lawn. Oh my gosh, there's people everywhere. People here, look at there. Look at those people, they're like, oh, look at that house, it's so freaking cute. I love it, it's just so dang cute. The white against the black, oh, it's just so freaking cute. I'm like, wow, give me a freaking break. Kids on bikes here. Um, we got lemonade stand, Jimmy, over there. So at least, needless to say, it's a little bit of a busy day. Glad to be back in the lawn. Uh, I let the lawn go for too long, but the doctor told me to kind of stay off my feet. I'm never gonna stay at my feet. See, she's looking over here, see? She's looking over there, see? She's like, oh, look at that, look at you. Oh, I love that stupid house. Freaking copycat butthole. Anyways, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.